Deer starves to death with nine pounds of plastic in its stomach. Vets were heartbroken when one of the beautiful deer from Japan's beautiful tourist attraction Nara Park died recently. Although it's not unusual for a deer of this age to die, it was what the vets discovered during the autopsy which really left them horrified. The park is located not far from Osaka in Japan and is a very popular tourist attraction bringing in around 2 million tourists every year. The park is popular due to the lovely deer which are sacred according to the Shinto religion, however it seems the poor creatures haven't been treated in the way such reverence should inspire. As sadly the very tourists who come to admire them are the cause of this tragic death. It's hard to grasp that this particular deer was found to have a staggering nine pounds of plastic in its stomach. The problem seems to be twofold. There are so many visitors that plastic and other pollution has become a problem. Moreover, people are feeding the deer people food, often bringing it out of plastic, perhaps leading to an association for the deer between plastic sounds and smells and food. In the last year, there have been eight mysterious deaths of deer in the park, and of those eight, six deer were found to have huge amounts of plastic in their stomachs. The vets tried as hard as they could to revive this particular deer. It was starving and malnourished and they were unable to keep the poor creature alive. The nine pounds of plastic is made all the more horrendous by the fact that the poor creature only weighed 66 pounds. The poor thing couldn't eat properly. The sad creature was unable to chew its cud. Like cattle, deer regurgitate their food to chew it again and it was unable to do this, causing it to starve to death. Authorities have become aware of the issue and there are signs posted all over the park but some visitors just aren't paying attention. They're bringing food out of plastic bags to feed the deer and so the deer make the connection and are unable to differentiate between plastic and food. As you can imagine this becomes especially problematic when visitors leave litter which smells like food and the deer will go to it immediately. There is hope however. Now the team who manage Nara Park are trying hard to educate the public about the issue and are making these wonderful eco bags available to guests which are made of natural fibres which are harmless to deer. This is something we all need to carefully consider all over the world whenever we go into the wild or engage with wildlife in any way. We have to start thinking far more seriously about single use plastics and the grave impact they are having on our planet. Let's hope this never becomes any less shocking than it really, really is. Make sure you share this with your friends and family now and keep this awful situation at the forefront of our thoughts.